Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to display data on a 4 digit LED display, 7 segment display. I've used the same program as before. Actually it should work as before I guess, yeah, we can, because we just put out the 1 digit LED and put in the 4 digit LED. So I will upload this now here. Upload. Good. Open the serial monitor. Type in a number zero, and there are zeros. Huh? Okay, not not perfect. Maybe because there are quite a lot of LEDs right now, right? And we're training ones and. Two or three, this was four, five, six. Right, okay. And let's see what is happening if I unplug. You have already briefly seen it. Huh? Switch to camera. Uh, if I unplug this, this is the common ground of, of the last digit. If I unplug this, bug, it's gone. Yeah. Put it in. If I unplug this one, this is the third digit. Yeah. Perfect. This must be the first digit. This is the second digit here. So you see, we can turn off a digit we like. Yeah. Well, we don't like. Turn off a digit we don't like. How does this help us? Hmm? How does this help us? This is really not very bright on this side. The data must be correct because these other are not correct. However, you know, 8 is the worst. Huh? If I type in 8 run, I see it's really dark. This is because a lot of LEDs are on. If I type in 1, it should be better. Yes, it's a little bit better. However, no, a lot of LEDs are on and we are already at the limit of our Arduino. This is why it looks that way. <clears throat> so, I can turn off and on a digit. However, all digits do display the same. Hmm. Why should I have four digits displaying all the same data? How can I get rid of this? Maybe there is a possibility of turning on only one digit, display the corresponding number there, then turning on the second display and the first the digit and the first off again and display the corresponding number there, so that we only see one digit at a time. Okay. And if I make this fast enough, and if I'm at the fourth, then again start with the first. If I make this fast enough, I should be able to see four different digits, even if they are not lit at the same time. Yeah? So the only thing I really need to have is somewhere an element which is switching between ground and 5 volt because then I could use this here, go to this element, hmm. we have digital outputs. So if we plug those grounds into corresponding digital outputs, then we should be able to only display one digit at a cycle, switch to the next digit, switch to the next digit and display every digit a different LED pattern. So we have to turn on, we have to put in the correct pattern 
for for one digit. Yeah? Turn on this one digit. Turn off this one digit. Put in the LED pattern for the next digit. Turn off this next digit. Turn off. Turn on this next digit. Turn off this next digit. And so on and so on. And this we must just increase the speed of this as faster and faster and faster and faster as fast as possible yeah? and then we should be there yeah? and indeed it's working okay you can try this think about the logic that does this yeah? it is working and it's working surprisingly well yeah? i'm not sure if i can capture it with the camera we will see uh, however this is how it is done yeah Time multiplex, multiplexing thing it is called. Yeah? If you don't have enough data lines, yeah, just make one after the other. And if you do it fast enough, our eye cannot see it. Yeah? Then it's flickering, but with a rate we do not even recognize. Yeah, so four digits, every digit displayed at a different time and fast so time multiplex and this is working this is how this is done usually okay next time we're going to use our lcd liquid crystal display uh, next time i will explain a little bit what an lc display does and then we're going to use it we have an lc display in our arduino starter kit I will show you in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.